Let's look at how you change between scientific notation of regular numbers as well as count significant figures. So uh, one of the things with scientific notation is it is a way to take all of these and write these in a much more compact format. Um, what you will typically get in scientific notation is a format of a number between 1 and 0. In this case, I'm going to take this exact number and just put a decimal right here to make it 3.5442 times 10 to some power. So it's going to be something times 10 to some power for scientific notation. Now in this case, in order to take this number and turn it into 3.5442, I have to take the decimal and move it 1, 2, 3, 4 places right there. So since I have to move the decimal 4 places, we're going to say this number is times 10 to the 4th power. Thus, this regular number is written is this scientific notation. These represent the exact same number, it's just this is a more compact way, or is a different way of representing this. Now, scientific notation can be used for any number, even a fairly simple number such as, oh, let's say the number 5 can be written as scientific notation. It's simply, well, the number is already between 1 and 10, so we just simply say it's 5 times 10. I'm going to do this. 5 equals 5 times 10 to the 0th power. 50 would be equal to 5 times 10 to the first power because you'd have to move the decimal one place in order to turn it into a 5. Now we don't put 5.0 because it's just 50. However, if we had 50.0 for example, that would become, let's see, I have to move the decimal once, 5.00 times 10 to the first power. So basically, if there is a zero and no decimals, zeros at the end with no decimals, do not appear in scientific notation, such as, the, such as in this case. If there are zeros at the end and there is a decimal, that, ha that means they will appear in scientific notation. The reason why has to do with significant figures. Significant figures just is a number of how many digits are in the number. One, two, three, four, five significant figures. Five sig figs. My favorite um, abbreviation for significant figures. Scientific notation only shows significant figures, so five sig figs also. And then one significant figure. Notice the scientific notation also has one significant figure. Here, the number 50, zeros at the end, we ignore the zeros at the end if there's no decimal. Trailing zeros do not count if there's no decimal. So one sig fig. You'll notice that's why there's only one number in the scientific notation. It's one sig fig. Here, 50.0, because that decimal appears there, we count the zeros. So we count the trailing zeros. So that's two zeros plus a five. That's three sig figs, which is why there's three digits in the scientific notation. Now, coming back here, it's the same thing. We look how many sig figs is here. There's three sig figs. So that means Scientific notation is 1.45, again, a number between 1 and 10. And how many times do you have to move the decimal for this? Let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, move it 4 times. 1.45 times 10 to the 4th power is this same number written in proper scientific notation. Here we count those zeros because there's a decimal at the end, so the trailing zeros have a decimal. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 sig figs i.e. significant figures, and the scientific notation version of this would be 3.54300. As in, yeah, because they're significant, you include them at the end of the, you include them in the number for the scientific notation. So let's see, you have to move the decimal. One, two, three, four times. So this is also uh, times 10 to the fourth. So there we are, 3.5. 4, 3, 0, 0 times 10 to the 4th. Again, these zeros are included because there's a decimal here. These zeros are not included because there is no decimal in this original number. All right, now, I said the zeros, trailing zeros, are made significant by a decimal. The zeros at the beginning, no. So these zeros at the beginning, you ignore them. We look, it's just three sig figs. Oops, three sig figs. There we go. Um, just these three numbers right here, and in scientific notation, that is 4.56 times 10 to the 
let's see, one, two, three. So you have to move it three times. And here's the thing. This is a small number. A small number, uh, less than one, would be a decimal in other words, always has a negative exponent, whereas a number greater than one is always a positive exponent. So the same thing applies here also. We have to move the decimal one, two, three times. So it's going to be times 10 to the negative third. We're going to ignore these zeros at the beginning, so 6, 5, 8. But because there's a decimal, the trailing zeros count. So 0, 0, 8, 5, 6. And I'll put the decimal right there. So 6.5800 0, 0, times 10 to the negative third is the correct way to write this as scientific notation. 6.58. And then because these zeros are at the end and there's a decimal, you include the zeros in the scientific notation. One, two, three, four, five sig figs. One, two, three, four, five sig figs. Um, even for very large numbers, the same dynamic is true in the sense of counting the zeros at the end. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten sig figs means that the scientific notation has ten significant figures. Three point five eight four one five zero 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 and how many times do I have to move the decimal to get that one two three four five six seven times ten to the seventh positive exponent because it's not a little decimal like this one it is a big number much larger than one okay um, and even for like these ones with these captive zeros, it's the same thing. One, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. Six point five four zero zero two times ten to the let's see, one, two, three. Had to move the decimal three times times ten to the third. Or um, even just with a number like this, I don't have to move the decimal at all. So eight point nine. 55460 five, times 10 to the 0 power. And how many sig figs is this? Well, trailing zeros count when there's a decimal, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 sig figs. So that's an overview of the kinds of numbers you could possibly run into, both for counting how many sig figs they have and converting to scientific notation. You, the viewer, I would suggest try these out. Count how many sig figs, convert to scientific notation, and I'm going to solve these all out right now, and then uh, you can fast forward to the end or whatever and see how your answers agree with what I did. So I'm going to do the sig figs first, and I'll do the scientific notation. Let's see. Six sig figs. Let's see. One, two, three sig figs. I'm just, yeah. I'm just going to start writing SF for short. Um, one, two, three, four, five, six sig figs. So six sig figs. One, two, no, don't count these. The zeros with a decimal, the zeros before your sig figs don't count. Leading, de leading zeros don't count, only the trailing ones do if there's a decimal. So we ignore these, it's just three sig figs. One, two, three, four sig figs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven sig figs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oops, seven sig figs. Two, three, four, five, six sig figs. Trailing decimals count, or trailing zeros count if there's a decimal. And now for scientific notation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, Six point eight two six zero zero times ten to the one two three four. Let's see, four point four eight times ten to the one two three. Negative three because it's a decimal smaller than one. Let's see, um, nine point eight zero zero times ten to the one two three negative third. Let's see, 5.410000 0, 0, 0, 0, times 10 to the, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 9.543002 0, 0, 
times 10 to the one, two, three, four. Let's see, 4.68410 times 10 to the zeroth power. All right, there you go. That's how you deal with counting significant figures and converting to scientific notation from a regular number, I suppose. We can also just do a little bit of converting from scientific notation back to a regular number. Here is a bit from the note handout that was done in class, but this serves as a nice little piece of practice. Here's some numbers that can be used as nice models for how to convert from scientific notation to regular. So times 10 to the third, I need to move the decimal three times, and 10 to the third is a big number. It's not negative exponents. That means it's a big number, so I need to move decimal three times in the direction that makes it big. So one, two, three, 3,010. Let's see, one, zero, two, times 10 to the fourth. So I need to move it four times the way that makes it bigger. One, two, three, four. So that's 10,200. Here, 5.03 times 10 to the third, so 503. 5.03 times 10 to the third, so move it once, twice, three times, so that's two zeros, and the decimal's here. So 0 0.00503 would be the correct way to write that. This is this. And this one, let's see, 602 times 10 to the negative second, 1, 2. So that's 0 0.0602 would be the correct way to write the answer for this one, just as this is the correct way for this. Always have a zero in front of a decimal place, no naked decimals. Like, this would be bad. Um, all right, the others, 94487 times 10 to the fifth, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 944870. So that would be the this converted to scientific or to regular number, and then this would be, let's see, 753 times 10 to the second. So 1, 2. 753. That is 753. All right, so that. It pretty much would be how it works. If you'd like to try out one more as practice, go ahead and convert these to regular numbers, and then I'll uh, change these to regular numbers right now. So you can pause and then skip ahead to see if you were right. Let's see, 50836 times 10 to the fifth, so 1, 2, 3, 4, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, so 508360 would be the correct version for this. And then 603, let's see, 1, 2, 3, 6,030 would be the correct version of this written as a regular number. Uh, again, positive exponent means I need to move the decimals in the direction that make the number bigger. If this was a negative exponent, I would have moved the decimal the other way in the direction that makes the number small. All right, so that should be a good primer. Uh, keep working, keep practicing. Happy studies.